Well, in essence, um, Larry Langford wanted all of the students of Birmingham to have access to the very best. And he basically did that by making sure that we had access to technology. And so our school, Glen Iris Elementary School, was a testing site for the Exo laptop. And the Exo laptop was just basically a standalone little um, device that 850 students in the school received, and it was for them. Absolutely. What kind of impact did receiving that you know, have on the students? Well, the students were so excited. We had an assembly where all of the students were um, called in, and Larry Langford presented the EXO laptops to the entire school. And so if you could see the joy in those students' face as they all received their very own um, laptop, because that was something that many of the children didn't have access to, um, you know, any technology. So having your very own first piece of technology, um, it was just wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. And we truly thank him for that. Well, I definitely am, have very fond memories of the kids receiving them. Um, it gave them an opportunity to experience coding for the first time. They got a chance to learn how the, the different parts of the laptop actually intertwined and worked. They got a chance to take it apart and be able to reassemble it. Just to give them that basic foundation of being introduced to the world of what we call IT. That was groundbreaking for so many of our kids. And I think Glenn Iris was just fortunate to be the testing site. He came personally uh, and made sure that the teachers received training as well as the kids. Every child that was here received a laptop. He, he personally made sure of that. And so he, he, he definitely did everything he could to, to make sure the words that he had spoken publicly, they actually came to fruition. Mr. Langford wanted to expose our kids to the best. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was his vision across the board for Birmingham as a whole. And that's what he mm -hmm. did for our students. As Mrs. Rogers said, you know, that gave our students the opportunity to learn how to code. They were able to create games. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful because at that time, we were all teachers. So we were just as excited as the kids mm -hmm. were. Yeah. All of the teachers, first of all, we were, as, as Ms. Long stated, we were all so excited to have this piece of technology, learning how to use it, and then at the same time, the children were allowed to take it home, to utilize it at home, and to come back and say, Ms. Mason, this is what I learned how to do at home. Um, and the parents also were basically so excited because the children were allow, able to take, teach their parents how to do a lot of the different things on the EXO. Okay, I could just add to that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, ex, it exposed us to technology as well, especially the coding. Uh, we had teachers in the building um, who were familiar with technology. So not only were we trained, but we trained ourselves as well. Yeah. Um, and so it was just, it, it was it was just great all around. Um, the team, team, we have a mm -hmm. yeah. team of kids mm -hmm. that team are technology yeah. mm -hmm. driven yeah. so they okay. know how to troubleshoot. We had mm -hmm. things all of school that. for yeah. our kids. And so it's just yeah. not an adult job. Mm -hmm. They actually yes. train the students. children how yes. to So we have it. student leaders mm -hmm. that are very technology mm -hmm. proficient. Yeah. yeah. And so now we have a broadcasting team. They yeah, run the broadcast, yes. whether yeah. adult is present or not. Mm -hmm. They know how to get started, mm -hmm. know how to get the, they have the background Down music, music playing and the screens yeah. going in and out. They yeah. know how to do all of that. All of that. So it, it was a, it was yeah. a jump start yeah. what we needed. Mm -hmm. it, it was, it was really what we needed in yeah. order for us to move forward, forward in technology.